Good day everybody, once again we are back together, welcome to our channel and uh, today we'll be looking at factorizing cubic functions. Of course we are still um, in the midst of doing calculus and in this case this is something that we're going to need uh, when we are um, doing uh, uh, cubic functions, uh, you know graphs and so on. Um, so it's a skill that I thought, you know what, I would just want to treat separately so that once we are in the middle of uh, doing graphs, you know, you don't have any challenges with it. So if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure that you just click that subscribe button and be sure to be part of the family. And of course, for those of you who might need assistance uh, with mathematics or physical science, you're more than welcome to, uh, you know, get in touch with us. And our email address is info at mlungisingosi.co.za. All right, so let's start first of all with our uh, cubic function. So uh, let's start with the first one. You know, so suppose that uh, you are given a cubic function and let's take one which is very simple. Uh, say we've got something to the tune of uh, f of x, okay, is x cubed. Let me just copy it down correctly. Uh, plus 4x squared. Uh, minus 11x uh, minus 30, okay? Right, so in this case, how do we factorize uh, this cubic function without uh, necessarily using um, the long division method? So this is what I want to teach you without necessarily using long division. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look for a factor. Now, uh, in this case, what would be a factor? It's anything that when we divide into any function, uh, we do not have a remainder, okay? So there's nothing that's left. So in this case, what we're simply going to do is we're going to test first, right? So we test with one, and then we'll test with minus one. We test with two and minus two, we test with three and minus three and so on and so forth until you find the right one. So we want to substitute um, uh, all of these numbers such that uh, it will give us zero. Let's start with f of one uh, in this case. So that means I'm going to take, this is going to be one cubed plus four times one squared minus 11 times one minus 30. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, not waste time there, put it in the calculator. So 1 cubed is 1 plus 4, okay, minus 11, minus 30. Definitely, whatever you do, that will never give us, uh, um, in this case, uh, 0. So that's minus 30, minus 11, that's 41, minus 41. Um, uh, in this case, of course, you're going to say uh, 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 plus 5, okay, plus 4 uh, in this case, uh, and then plus another 1. So that would give us 36, I think. Okay, minus 36. Okay, you can check there. And then what we'll do is we're going to substitute f of minus 1. So that doesn't give us 0. So it means that 1 is not a factor. So let's check minus 1. So we're going to say minus 1 cubed plus 4 times minus 1 squared minus 11 times negative 1, minus 30, okay? And uh, in this case, what are we going to have? We're going to have, uh, this is going to be minus 1 uh, plus 4 plus 11 minus 30. Okay, so again, it doesn't matter what we try and do here. Uh, so I've got... Uh, minus 30 plus 15, which is minus 15 minus 1. Um, so that would be minus 16. So the answer is negative 16. Of course, you can verify these answers. The fact of the matter is they do not give me 0. So it means that they are not factors. So we're going to now try f of 2. Okay. So in this case, again, I'm going to say, well, that's 2 cubed plus 4 times 2 squared minus 11 times 2 
minus 30 okay uh, so let's see uh, 2 to the power 3 that's 8 that's 4 times that's 16 minus 22 minus 30 okay uh, so if we take that so that's 8 plus 16 which is 24 minus 22 that will give us 2 and uh, minus 30 so the answer is negative 32 okay all right uh, as i said you can always uh, put that in your calculator uh, just make sure that uh, my answers are correct and then let's try f of negative 2 so that would be negative 2 cubed plus 4 times negative 2 squared minus 11 times negative 2 and minus 30. Okay, so let's see. So that gives us um, minus 8 um, plus 16 minus 22 um, and minus 30. Okay. So that would be, uh, in this case, uh, all right. So once again, this does not give us, uh, so that would be minus 8, minus 22, okay? Oh, no, I actually almost made a mistake there. That was plus 22 because a negative times a negative is a positive, okay? So that's uh, plus 16. So that will give me positive 8 plus 22, that's 30 minus 8. Oh, there we are. So this guy gives us 0. So f of minus 2 gives us 0 in this particular case. So what does that mean? I want you to please listen carefully. It therefore means, okay, that x plus 2 is a factor. Notice in this case that i've changed the sign in this case it was minus two now you remember every time that you get factors uh, once you equate it to zero uh, x minus two x plus two is equals to zero then the solution is x is negative two right so in this case it means that if an f negative two was the solution then x plus two was the factor okay so now it means that to get the other factors, okay, so f of x, remember, we said this was x cubed uh, minus, uh, I think this was, uh, all right, plus 4x squared, plus 4x squared minus 11x minus 30, okay? So we know that one of the factors in this case is x plus 2. Now, how do we get the other factors in this case? Now, please, I want you to note. So, I'm not going to use long division, okay? Uh, but we're going to look uh, for a, a, a synthetic division. And in this case, we're going to use a simpler method, you know, of uh, using synthetic division. So, note what I'm going to do. And please, I want you to listen carefully. So, I will ask x multiplied by what will give me x cubed? And the answer is simple. That should be x squared. Okay. So I know what will give me x cubed there. And then let's go to the very last term, this one. Okay. 2 multiplied by which number should give me negative 30 okay so that would be negative 15 isn't it um so in that case it means that i have minus 15 in there now to go for the middle term please i want you to listen carefully on this one right so for the middle term what i'm simply going to do is ask the question so i want you to follow uh, this green line okay i am going to say look i want to create 4x squared right as a result so in this case i have got 2 multiplied by x squared which gives me 2x squared 
So in order for my result to be 4x squared, right, I need to have another number. But what would that be? I need to create another 2x squared, right? So remember, this one we already have in the green. Okay, so we said 2 multiplied by x squared. That gave us 2x squared. So now, in order for my result to be 4x squared, I need to create something else. And what is that something else? That's the 2x squared over there, right? So that's the 2x squared there. Now, I will ask the question, x multiplied by what should give me positive 2x squared? Remember, I'm trying to create this, right? x multiplied by which number will give me 2x squared? And the answer is simple once again. It should be positive 2x. Because once I have that x times 2x, that will give me another 2x squared. Plus that 2x squared there, that should give me 4x squared. So there it is. I've got my second bracket, right? So uh, here is our second bracket. Um, we've got x squared plus 2x minus 15. And now all we're going to strive for, and you'll see how we are going to use this uh, in cubic functions. So this is going to be x plus 2. Now let's try and factorize that. What are the factors of 15? Such that when I subtract them, they will give me 2. Okay, and I'm sure you can see how that will be 5 and 3, right? So it means I'll have x and 5 and x and 3. So in this case, I will simply say, well, what has to be the sign inside of my brackets? Now, please note, if the sign of the constant term for a quadratic function is negative, it tells you that the signs inside your bracket are not the same, right? But in this case, which one takes which bracket? Okay, which sign rather, which bracket goes to, uh, which sign rather goes to which bracket? So what we are simply saying um, in this case, the bigger product will always take the sign of the middle term. Now, where do we get our products? We get our products here, which is 5x, and we get another product here, which is 3x. So which one is the bigger product? It's actually 5x, isn't it? So if 5x has to be positive so that the middle term is positive, so in this case, it means that this has to be positive, and so, therefore, this will be negative. I hope that makes sense. Okay. So, in this case, what we're simply saying is that we've got those three brackets there. And we have found all our factors. Right. And normally, what you would use this for is to find out your x-intercept. Okay. And this is where we find that the uh, x-intercept in this particular case this is where your y is equal to zero. So as a result, if you were to use that to find the x-intercept, it means that your intercepts would be at x is equal to positive two, or x is equal to negative five, okay? Or, uh, or your x is equal to uh, three. All right, so I hope that you, you got that. I think what we should do is just take on another example so that you can really get into the rhythm of this. All right, now let's go for another one. Okay, so let's find the x-intercept in this case uh, of this graph. So what we would simply do once again is let's start by finding one of the factors, right? So we said we substitute 1, then minus 1, 2, then minus 2, and until we find one of the factors. So let's try f of 1. Okay, so I'm going to try f of 1. So this is going to be 2 times 1 cubed minus 5 times 1 squared minus 4 times 1 plus 3. Okay, so if I look at that, that's going to be 2 minus 5 minus 4 plus 3. Okay, so whatever I do that does not give me actually I get minus four from that. So it means that x is minus one x is one 
and it's not a factor. Let's try f of minus 1, negative 1. So in this case, this will once again be 2 times negative 1 cubed minus 5 times negative 1 squared minus 4 times negative 1 plus 3. And so what we have there, we will have minus 2 minus 5 uh, plus 4 plus 3. Okay, so I get negative 2, negative 5, which is negative 7, uh, plus 4, plus 3. So that's negative 7, plus 7, and that definitely gives us 0. So now, x uh, 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 negative 1 is a factor, so it means that uh, x plus 1, remember we said we changed the sign, right? x plus 1 is one of the factors, okay? Right, now let's get the rest of it. So f of x, this is equal to 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 4x plus 3. So we know that um, x plus 1 is a factor. Now let's get the other bra bracket, right? x multiplied by what number will give us 2x cubed and the answer would be 2x squared okay and then uh, we look at the last term and we say well 1 multiplied by what number will give us positive 3 okay so that will be positive 3 right all right now let's go to um, the crux of things we need to find the middle term again so uh, we'll say well look at this I already have okay uh, so I made a mistake there I already have 1 multiplied by 2x squared that should already give me 2x squared but what do I want to create? I want to create, uh, in this case, minus or negative 5x squared. Okay? So, what will I need to add in order to have minus 5x squared? Well, I need a minus 7x squared. Because 2x squared minus 7x squared will actually give me negative 5x squared okay then i ask the question one multiplied by what number will give me minus 7x squared and of course our answer is minus 7x okay so i will get 2x squared uh, from the green uh, sorry yeah from this green one I will get, okay, so I want you to note that. So I'll get uh, uh, 2x squared there. Um, but I need to create minus 5x squared. So I needed the minus 7x squared. So in this case, that simply means if I take x multiplied by, let me uh, draw that in the green again, x multiplied by negative 7x will actually give me the minus 7x squared. I hope that makes sense, ladies and gents. So what I'm simply going to do is, of course, we're going to find all the other factors, right? Right. So now um, we are going to simply say that's x plus 1, okay? And we're going to say, well, what are the factors of 2 and 3 such that when we add them, we get a 7, okay? So if I look at my brackets there, if I, uh, um, so that will be 2 over 1. And we take, yeah, let's say 1 over 3, right? So because if I take that, 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. And when I add 1 to 6, that will give me 7. So that means this is my bracket and this is my bracket. Of course, I'm trying to make this 
as simple as possible. I'm still going to treat uh, factorization of quadratic functions uh, all as a topic on its own. So that's going to be 2x and 1. That's my bracket. And another one is x, 1x, and 3. Okay. So now let's deal with the brackets inside. Okay. So we're going to simply say, um, in this case, we want to create a minus 7x. So uh, we know that the bigger product takes on the sign of the middle term. So I'm going to simply say, well, how do we get minus 7x? 1 times x, okay, uh, um, definitely uh, will give us 1x. And then we've got six, uh, two times, 2x times 3 will give us 6x. So if the sign of our constant term is positive, it means the sign are, are the same. And where do we get the sign? We get the sign from our middle term. So in this case, it simply means that we've got a negative sign there and another negative sign. And that's how we are going to uh, go about uh, this question. Okay. Um, so what does this mean? It means that if we were to look for the x-intercept, uh, x plus 1, 2x minus 1, and x minus 3 are all factors. This are equal to 0. So it means that x is equal to minus 1. Or in this particular case, x is equal to 1 over, one over 2. Or it means that x would be equal to 3. All right. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take just one last example and we are just going to call it a day. All right, so let's take the very last one. So we've got f of x is x cubed minus 12x squared plus 36x. Now, I want you to note in this particular case, every term has got an x in it. So these are quite, um, uh, you know, I actually like these ones because they are quite straightforward for you to do. Um, so what you simply do in this case, um, uh, it means that zero uh, or, uh, you know, it cuts at x is equal to zero. Okay, so in this case, uh, what it simply means is that if we take f of uh, zero, uh, you'll see if you substitute zero there, so that's zero cubed minus 12 times 0 squared plus 36 times 0, this would be equal to 0, okay? Now, I want you to please note, so what does that mean? It means that x plus 0, which is just simply x, is a factor, right? And what you could do here is that you simply take out that factor. Uh, so let me just rewrite it. x cubed minus 12x squared plus 36x and so what I simply do is just take out x as a factor so then it becomes x squared minus 12x plus 36 okay right so let's factorize the other bracket so that's x into now let's look at this what are the factors now the, the coefficient of x is 1 so I only need to worry myself about this guy what are the factors of 36 such that when I add them, uh, they would give me 12, okay? Factors of 36 such that when I add them, uh, they would give me 12, okay? So let's think about uh, some of those factors. Uh, we can think about uh, 36 would be, uh, so that would be 1, uh, in fact, factors of 36, I think it's going to be 9 and, yeah, 9 times, uh, sorry, 9 times 4. Yeah, 9 times 4 is actually uh, 36 and 9 plus 4. Okay, that would give me 13. Okay, so that wouldn't work. Um so let's look for others. So 12, okay, so 12 and 
uh, and 3 that would give me 15 okay and in this particular case yeah so we're just playing around just looking for those factors right okay uh, so which other factors of 36 such that when we add so that would be 8 and 6 uh, let's see okay so 8 multiplied by 6 i believe uh, no that would not give me 36 6 times 6 actually why am i not even thinking about that one yeah 6 times 6 would give us 36 isn't it uh so this would be uh so this would be x and 6 and x and 6 i'm not sure why i was not even thinking about that one uh, 6 times 6 is 36 but 6 plus 6 of course will give us 12 so in this case that this tells me that's x minus 6 and x minus 6 right uh, because remember uh, we know that the middle term or the sign of the bigger product takes the sign of the middle term so in this case minus 6x minus 6x does give us minus 12x right so as a result what do we get for our final answer so we know that uh, x so if we said this is equal to zero it means we've got a solution at x is equal to zero or x is equal to six okay right so um i hope that you got the method uh, what we will keep doing is of course uh, in our next episode what we'll do is we'll be looking at cubic functions okay but what I wanted to do is to make sure that you can perfect, uh, you know, how to factorize those. Uh, otherwise, it tends to become a little bit of an issue uh, when you are now doing cubic functions because there's so many other things to, to do. All right. So for now, ladies and gents, I hope that you enjoyed that lesson. I'll see you guys again next time as we continue to prepare. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. And of course, um, you know, don't forget to, uh, you know, uh, uh, be part of the family. Okay. Just continue to watch our lessons. Thank you so much, ladies and gents. I'll see you next time. Shop, shop.